I think I may try to push this one back a little bit. See if I can get it leaned back. If I get it leaned back, then maybe I can saw it off. Yeah, that's it. Well, actually, I broke it off right there. Hey, today we're going to be working with these trees here, seeing if we can get some of these taken out. We're back on the tower property. We got tree saw, we got grapple, and we got wind. Let's get started. A lot of wind. Grapple for the wind. Yeah, who needs a tree saw when you just take it down with the ground? I think I'll, I think I'll let go and get a better hold. Now, I think I might pile these in a little bit different pile since they're going to be green for now. And then uh, maybe we can get to and burn some of that stuff from last year. I've never really done any brush work, you know, serious brush work with this 3R, so it's entirely possible that, you know, I may underestimate it. Let me find a four-wheel drive. It may be powerful enough to take some of these out. I, think I got this one piece broken off here. I'm not sure. Whoa, maybe not. She's out now. Yeah. We're tackling what I consider to be the biggest ones here today. I just thought it would be a good day to try to get some of these bigger ones out except for the wind it's it's interesting we live only a half a mile from here or so but we live where it's lower and there's woods between here and there so it stops the wind quite frankly we had no idea the wind was this fierce or Christy would have talked to me out of coming back here today it's not like there's one tree in there it's a whole it's a whole mess of trees probably like eight sprouts in there in one spot it's probably something to do with this variety of tree. Now it's been probably at least a year, maybe a year and a half since we've even been on this project. Uh, yeah, we've mowed in here, but we haven't tried to take any trees out in quite some time now. And the reason is we've just been too busy on other stuff. Um, and in fact, the last time we were here, we were here with this tree saw and this tractor, but I didn't have the plumbing done for the grapple. I didn't have the third function, so I couldn't have the grapple. And what I noticed was back then that the tree saw by itself was kind of irritating because I could saw something down, but I ended up leaving brush where I couldn't get around it. It's pretty clear already that the grapple is uh, required in combination with the tree saw. I believe I'm gonna have to have both at the same time to do anything. But together, I think they're gonna work nice. It's interesting having the grapple here I'm thinking about the saw totally differently than I did the other visit I uh, kind of considered the the tree saw as my only tool right now in this case the tree saw is a uh, you know it's necessary to go to uh-oh I guess I don't, I don't think one. it's it's cut it's not cut at the bottom no it's not right over that one opening is that grapple it seems huge it is it's a big mouth grapple as too that's actually one of the names we've given it um, it's the 327 so it's built heavier for this larger tractor um, it's uh, it's a heavy grapple what I mean by heavy it's built heavy not 
not to, the weight is actually still light for what it's doing but uh compared to the 322 and 320 it's a it's a heavily you know built grapple it's just heavier duty That's pretty cool. I'm going to try to get this batch before I get that cedar. See if I can get them out of the way. I wanted away from it. This really is proving to be a, a good brush removal combination. Um, I'm now regretting that I didn't have the grapple on the first time I showed you. This combination is pretty fast. Now the other tool I've shown has been that brush mulcher and it has one major advantage over this one and that is that when we're done, we're done, right? We've mulched it up to where it essentially dis totally disappears. Whereas with this one we're piling it in a pile and we'll still have to do something else with it. Think we can get that big cedar down? Got him. Yeah. <laughs> he kind of got you too, though. Yeah, I did. I'm gonna drop down now and chop that right at ground level. I wanted to cut it off like that so that I could hoe over it. Is it gonna do it? Uh, shut it off. You got more of a. You may as well shut the tractor off. You got uh, wire, um, barbed wire strung around the. Christy says I got wire around it somewhere here. Oh yeah, so what I did was one thing, one trick. I love this trick with these, at least with the deer. I put the PTO into mid uh, mid setting instead of rear. And with that, I can rotate to, rotate it freely, see? Well, it doesn't look like it's too bad. But it does look like it's in there. Yeah, it's coming out. You know, I think uh, we're good here. I don't, I don't think we got it up in the bearing at all. I think it just got wrapped around there a little bit. No big deal. But seriously, being able to set the PTO to mid so that it spins freely really helped me there. Christy, we've, we've got the biggest area, right? I was really concerned about that tree over there and two or three here that were really big. Uh, there's another one right here. It's fairly big. It's so windy, and I think maybe it'd be best if I would 
take the saw and cut all of these off now to ground level so we can mow through here. And then maybe it's a, a good stopping place for today. I've got one more project I want to do tonight, whether I do it on video or not, but I got one more project I want to do and the sun is dipping down. So, but the good news is I can catch a glimpse of the far side through there. And some of this is now to the point where one could walk through it. So this is, this is good progress here. I can tell you that about three years ago when we started on this, I never dreamed we would get it all done. I mean, it, it just seemed like it would take forever. And we just keep chipping away at it. And yeah, we're gonna get there. Saw all this stuff off. I think I'll move some of this dead brush onto a pile over here. And then we'll call it quits for today. Okay, I couldn't resist. I have trouble wanting to quit. I just want to keep going. And going and going and going. Okay, we'll give that big one a try. Fuller. <laughs> I did pull the stump up some. Folks, I wish we could have the drone in the air so you could see just how much we've been able to do of this. We've done a good portion of it tonight. Unfortunately, it's just so windy we couldn't get the drone up, so we'll uh, have to show you that next time, I guess. But I think uh, at this point, I, I'd been holding on to this brush when I say holding on to it. I knew we had to remove it, but I've been putting off removing it because I thought we might get another brush removal tool. but. You know, at this point, I'm kind of ready to get it out of here, and, and I believe the combination we've got right here is, is pretty good. So, we 
may just get this knocked out. In the next few weeks, if we have time, and then we can uh, we can get to where we can mow it all. Christy, I ended up getting that stump all the way out of there with the grapple after cutting it off. This combination is actually surprising me. I think the 3R tractor being heavier, having a lot more um, power to the ground, uh, even though it's a hydrostatic tractor, it's got plenty of power to ground to get to the job done. And, uh, and then when combined with the tree saw to do stuff that's too big for uh, the grapple to get out, I, I'm a little bit surprised. And I suppose I would say it's odd to be surprised after this many years of doing this kind of stuff. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty excited about that. We only have maybe 50 feet to get the rest of the way through, and it'll be fun to have this all cleared up. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time on Tractor Time with Tim. The Lord works righteousness and justice for all the oppressed.